Good morning, everyone. I have a special guest who woke me up this morning. Right, honey? Okay, so today is June 11th. Can you say it's June 11th? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to start off from a daily reflection on the Old Testament. <clears throat> if I be wicked, woe unto me. Do you want to say this? And if I be righteous, yet will I not lift up my head. I am full of confusion. Therefore see thou mine affliction. Job chapter 10 verse 15. Good job. Most of us, like Job of old, carry on a dialogue within ourselves. We lament our natural man susceptibilities and know that we are in need of repentance. We also know that sometimes we get things right. We overcome the flesh and put off the natural man. Even so, we are in need of meekness. This is the confusion of mortality. We aren't perfect and we make mistakes. We take steps forward and then a step back. We learn and grow and then forget and stumble. To become spiritually strengthened, we must go forward with faith in the Lord, with devotion to truth, with integrity and humility of heart. Even in our sinfulness, we cannot give up hope. And in our righteous endeavors, we cannot become proud and self-satisfied. We never fin we're never finished. Like Job and Nephi, we must endure in faithfulness to the end and put our trust in the Lord. Can you put it in there? How, how much the, how does that hurt old? Yeah, I use this one as a bookmark. How much that I don't like hers, so how much does that hurt to us? Oh, she gave hers to you. That was nice of her. Okay, so today is 1 Samuel chapter 2. And... Hannah sings a song of praise to the Lord, and that takes up like half the chapter. Okay, not really, but it felt like it. And then it talks about Eli's sons and how they, Eli is the priest of the temple, and Eli's sons, they uh, they didn't follow the Lord. And so the Lord rejects the house of Eli, and then Eli blesses Hannah and Ramah, and they have sons and daughters. So... Chapter 2. We'll start off with a quote from Joseph F. Smith. He says, There is no substitute for the home. Its foundation is as ancient as the world, and its mission has been ordained of God from the earliest times. The home, then, is more than a habitation. It is an institution which stands for stability and love in individuals as well as in nations. A Latter-day Saint who has no ambition to establish a home and give it preeminence, I think so, has not a full conception of the sacred duty the gospel imposes upon him. So it's got, in the side-by-side, -side, we've got an overview of the priests, precepts and principles, and then it talks about Eli, and then it talks about principles and responsibilities of parenthood, and then it talks about favorite of God, goodness of Samuel, and wickedness of Eli's sons. Um, so that's a lot for chapter 2. And there's like one tiny paragraph for chapter 3, which is what we're doing tomorrow. But let's talk about Eli, meaning ascending, was the high priest. And judge in Israel during the days of Samuel the prophet. Eli was of the lineage of Ithamar, the youngest surviving son of Aaron. Okay. Um, and that's basically all I want to say about him. Okay, so. Parenthood. Principles and responsibilities of parenthood. Where are your parents? Upstairs. Upstairs? Not on, they're on vacation. Uh -huh. They left us. Okay. 
Parents are to illuminate the pathway of progress for their children using the light of gospel truths. At the same time, parents are to mark clearly the boundaries and limits for appropriate behavior and restrain their children from crossing the mark. Eli learned <clears throat> of his son's wicked behavior and reproved them, but not with sufficient sharpness. The Lord sorely chastened Eli, condemning the family and shortening its tenure. Yikes. Okay. Those who seek after the principles of integrity, service, and holiness are favored of the Lord. He withdraws his hand and sustaining power from those who dishonor his word and his institutions. This is amply illustrated in the contrasting lives of the young Samuel and the sinful sons of Eli. Hannah, ga Hannah gives praise to the Lord for his goodness as her son Samuel grows and prospers, ministering before the Lord and increasing in favor and righteousness. By way of contrast, Eli's two sons, Hoph Hophni and Phinehas, exercise unrighteous dominion as priests of God, being both greedy and immoral, thus bringing shame upon their family and calling forth the justice of God. Oh, how careful we all need to be, for there are eyes watching and ears hearing at every moment. Each of us is an example of someone somewhere. We should seek to live a life beyond reproach, and we should seek to bless and help rather than condemn. Would you like to put a bookmark in? Right there. Yep, right there. Thank you. Eyes and ears watch all the time. This little dude. Um, uh, what? He, he says, dang it now. Dang it. I'm like, uh, it's not a bad word, but I mean, coming out of a three-year-old's mouth, you're just like, there are better words. Okay. Today is the 11th, right? Yes, it is. Right. Okay. So we're coming into a new section in a diary of prayer. Uh, this section is prayers for the sacrament of the Holy Communion. And this one from today is for the congregation. And it's by the West Syrian Liturgy. Vouchsafe to look down on those who hear, pray with thine humble servant, and on those who are absent. Remember, O Lord, my littleness, not the faults and ignorant and ignorance of the past, but according to thy mercies, for if thou can for if thou take count of our iniquities, who shall abide it? Thy mercy is upon us, come to me. Cleanse me, and let thy grace abound. Remember, O Lord, those whom we remember, and those whom we forget. Accept in heaven their prayers, and make them worthy of thy presence and thy help. Strengthen them by thy might. Instruct them by thy challenge, changelessness, for thou, O God, art our protector. Sometimes I need my glasses. You want to put it in? A little bit higher. There you go. That was First Samuel chapter two. And tomorrow we do three. Hang on. All right. Say bye, family. Bye. Say love you. Love you. Now blow kisses. Mwah.